Hello, Pisces. Hope you guys are doing well. This is your bonus reading. I'm doing single. So for those Pisces who are single, this is your love reading. I'm not doing these every month, but I wanted to do them this month, okay, so as a bonus. Uh, so if you are a sun, moon, rising, Venus, Pisces, and you're single, whether that's in your mind or literally, whatever, this reading is for you. Please support the channel if this one resonates. Like, thumbs up that video if this one hits home. Leave your comments. Uh, what else? If y'all need a private reading, all the info is below. The phone specials are the special and they're booking. So if you want one, book it up. All right. So I just bought a new Oracle deck yesterday, Pisces, and it's called Spiritual as Fuck. 99 inspirational cards for people who fucking need some inspiration. So we're gonna use that as your oracle, which leads me to my next point. If you're offended by foul language, take a hard left. All right, this is probably not your channel. Don't get in my comments, preaching, spirituality, Jesus, Buddha, whomever your person is. All right, I read tarot the way I read it, and this is my channel, and you don't have to be here. All right, but for those that love the channel, love the message, welcome. I appreciate you and I love you very much. All right, so let's see. Let's pull your Oracle card and see what's up. So show me for Pisces singles, what kind of advice do we want to give for Pisces? Pisces singles, let's take a look at love for the next four to six weeks for Pisces singles. Well, that one wanted to just flip on out, so we're taking it. We are, we're taking it. Let's see what it reads. To thine own ass... Be true. Be true. All right, let's turn it over and read it. The most common thing that holds people back from health and happiness is an unwillingness to be honest with themselves. True story. It's been unscientifically proven. Owning who you are, what you are, what you struggle with, and where you want to be is the beginning of self-love and freedom. Kind of like when... Sir Mix-a-Lot finally admitted that he likes a big he likes big butts and could not lie. His life blossomed after that. I can't make this shit up. It really does read that. So to thine own ass be true. All right. If you have a big ass, embrace it. All right, let's get going. So this is for Pisces singles. All right, for the next six to eight weeks, what do we have for you guys? Let's see. We're gonna do a past, present, future. All right, Pisces, what's up for you guys? For the singles, we're going to do five shuffles. So if you don't like shuffling, just go ahead and fast forward. It's part of the process to bring in the energy. All right, Pisces, what do we see? Three for the past, three for the current situation or current energy, and then three for your near future for Pisces singles. What do we see for the next six to eight weeks? Pisces singles. How you guys doing today? Hope you're doing well. It's hotter than Hades here in Houston. Uh, I looked at my car yesterday, the thermometer, the temperature. It was 99 degrees. I'm not even kidding. All right, one more shuffle, and let's do this for Pisces. Pisces singles. What do we see? All right, let's cut her up and do it and see what we got. All right, what do we see? Give me three cards for the past for Pisces singles. What do we have in the recent past? What do we got for Pisces singles? That felt good to me. So, and there you are showing up. Hi, Queen of Cups. That's the Pisces card. Cancer, Scorpio. Usually it's Cancer, but it can definitely be Pisces. All right, Queen of Cups, recent past, honing in on your intuition, right? Very spiritual, which we know Pisces is. Sometimes a psychic is that Queen of Cups. But what's interesting, is, especially in the Rider Weight deck, she's kind of, the cup is closed. So she's not necessarily offering the emotion. She's kind of thinking about it. You know, she's got one foot there kind of in the water and one on the ground. And she's holding that cup, but that cup is closed. And she's kind of looking down. I feel like a lot of you guys were really honing in on your intuition, okay? I like that she's in the upright, though, because that means her emotions are balanced, for sure. And then we have the Four of Pentacles in reverse, so dropping something that maybe you were holding on to. Earth sign, possibly, doesn't have to be a Pisces. But again, we go from the Queen of Cups, kind of a little bit melancholy, but can control her emotions, thinking, do I want to offer this cup? You know, not so sure. 
And then we move into, well, I don't think I want to because something's dropped. Maybe you dropped somebody or they dropped you, right? Because why? There's just too many burdens, too much worry. Sometimes the Ten of Wands can be guilt, you know, especially in this deck because they're hiding their face. Maybe you were dealing with somebody like this, but you decided to drop something or somebody or they did you because it was just too much. But the Ten of Wands is completing a cycle. So there's a cycle completed here. I'm not really concerned with this energy though. Like I don't feel, cause you guys are showing up in the upright. So I kind of feel like you were okay maybe with it. I mean, if you were dumped, obviously we're never truly okay with it because you guys, but again, it was a very heavy load, a lot of burdens and a lot of worry. All right, but that cycle's completed. So what do we have for Pisces for present energy? What do we have, please? Give me three cards for Pisces, present energy. What do we need to know for the singles? I see singles. It's funny. I was like, well, you guys weren't that bothered by it. <laughs> but in the present situation with the Queen of Swords in reverse. So some of you have air in your, your chart, maybe Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. A lot of times she comes out as an ex. She's usually the single queen in the deck. She knows a thing about pain. She's been through the ringer. But sometimes when she's in reverse, her communication can be kind of nasty. But it, it's like she's been put in that situation. Sometimes her words are pretty harsh. Her attitude can kind of be down a little bit. She's she's scorned. I mean, that's, that's the queen of, of swords in reverse. Or she's just completely detached and cut somebody out. But before she cuts you out, she might tell you to go to hell. All right, I'm just saying. And presently here next to that, we have the seven of swords in reverse. More air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Somebody was caught. This can be guilt as well. Somebody may want to return to fix something here, but you guys are not real happy with the situation. This could even be somebody else was involved. This is your present energy, though. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. All right, here. If it's not another female involved somehow that was causing some burdens, you honing in on your intuition about this energy... Okay, then this is just you being pissed. But I still feel like your emotions are in check. Because with the Seven of Swords in reverse, again, somebody got caught with their hand in the cookie jar. Doesn't have to be cheating, but something. And somebody feels guilty about it. And then we go to this Knight of Wands here, Leo Sag Aries energy. And the way that this is positioned, this Knight of Wands is looking right at the Seven of Swords in reverse. So was it a Knight of Wands character here that caused some type of deception or some shit like that was caught you know again the knight of wands can typically be somebody that's not staying long the knights they're always a coming and going in tarot they never stay long and that knight of wands does not want to be tied down necessarily all right well there we go and then there you guys are showing up as the moon let me get one more card for the near future you guys are going to get your mojo back, though, with that Queen of Wands. All right, give me one more card. So how will Pisces singles finish out this uh, the next uh, four to six weeks? Pisces singles. One more card for the uh, last position here. Pisces singles for the next four to six weeks. How will they finish out here? One more card. One more card for Pisces. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. Things are going to start turning in your favor. What a badass way to end it with the Wheel of Fortune. The universe steps in and moves that wheel. Now, you can hop on or not, but this is for your best good, right? That sounded really redneck. This is for your best good there, Pisces. Uh, yeah, basically what mom here was trying to say is the Wheel of Fortune is the universe stepping in. It's in the upright. So this is them saying, you know what? We know what's best for you. All right, the wheel is going to start moving in your favor. Big, big sudden changes. <clears throat> so in the near future, you're going to experience this Queen of Wands energy. She's my favorite queen. She's such a badass. You might have Aries in your chart. Sag, Leo, but more so it's just the energy, right? Moving into the near future, you're going to get your swag back. Both of the queens are showing up in, up in the upright. I feel like this Queen of Swords in the present energy is somebody else. And if it's not love, it could be like a mother, a friend, a sister, somebody that's like causing some issues. I mean, we are doing love, but but you'll notice, Pisces, in the near future with this Queen of Wands, this is like taking action. She's a bad bitch, right? 
people kind of approach her. They're, they are attracted to her. He or she walks in a room. They're like, oh, there's the Queen of Wands. Creative, entrepreneur, just got her shit together. Highly attractive. And then we move into the moon in reverse. This is you guys, Pisces, Major Arcana for Pisces. I love how that fell out too. So with the moon in reverse, everything's revealed. This doesn't always have to be secrets are coming out. It depends on what clarifies it and what's around. I feel like coming into the near future, you end getting your mojo back because Perhaps also with the moon energy, you start to overcome any type of anxiety or you're seeing things clearly. Nothing's hidden and good things start to come in because of that. I like the energy in this reading, Pisces. I do. Yeah, maybe presently something's kind of a little bit shady or something's come out here. But you guys, I believe the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands is both your energy. In the past, using that intuition to drop burdens or to drop something that maybe you were holding on to. It could have been for practical purposes, material, you know, money, like whatever it was. It doesn't matter. It was dropped. And it was burdens, you know. Maybe you guys were worried about finances after having to drop somebody. But I'm just saying, or they dropped you. So we're still kind of going through some shit here. But also, too... Moving out of the present energy, remember the Knight of Wands is exiting too. Or this could be the character, the Seven of Swords dude or female, whatever that you're dealing with. All right, but I like the way that it's ending with you guys getting your mojo back with that Queen of Wands. All right, getting over anxiety. Also, too, yeah, the moon in reverse can be things are going to be revealed, but I kind of feel like that's already happened with that Seven of Swords in reverse. All right, you guys, I'm going to use the Legacy of the Divine Tarot to clarify. People like to ask what I'm using. I need to start putting it in the description box, but I always forget. I'm sorry. This is a badass deck. It kind of, it's, I think it's by the same, um, I think it's by Marchetti, um, the same guy that does um, dream, uh, Tarot of Dreams. All right, beautiful artwork. All right, what do we see for Pisces singles, please? Past, present, future for the next six to eight weeks. Show me their love life. What's coming in for them? Pisces, singles, three more shuffles and we'll get to it. What's up for Pisces, please? Pisces, singles for the next six to eight weeks. What's up for Pisces, singles? Past, present, future. Past, present, future. Whatever's revealed here, Pisces, if that's you guys overcoming anxiety or something comes out, everything's revealed, nothing's hidden. With that Wheel of Fortune, it's for it's for your own good, right? Good things are going to start shifting probably quickly. That Wheel of Fortune is kind of, it's karma. It's God's work, right? You have no control over that. But I like that it's in the upright. All right, let's clarify this bad bitch of a reading for Pisces. All right, let's check it. So the Queen of Cups, recent past energy. I like that she's in the upright. So this is probably you guys. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. Why is this Queen of Cups in the recent past? Doesn't matter if you're male or female. Why is the Queen of Cups here, please? Why is this Queen of Cups here for Pisces? Singles. Queen of Wands in reverse. Okay. So a lot of times for me, the Queen of Wands in reverse is typically like another energy, another person. She's like the other woman or the other man. It doesn't matter her zodiac sign. Okay. So I feel like you guys were using your intuition on perhaps... You know, maybe somebody was involved with somebody else. The Queen of Wands in reverse. If that's your energy, Pisces, that's you guys being pissed about something. Right? She's usually this, you know, she's a little bit mean, a little bit spiteful. She'll burn down your house. All right? So it could be that you discovered something. I don't, I'm not feeling that energy, though. I really don't from you guys. I feel like maybe you guys were honing in on your intuition and you found out about another energy. Again, it doesn't have to be cheating, could just be anybody meddling, but who's this queen of wands in the past in revert? See the moon. See? And there you guys are Pisces, okay? The moon on top of that queen of wands in reverse. Yeah, this is somebody that wasn't supposed to be involved somehow, okay? Some secrets, some deception. So then you move to the four of pentacles in reverse. You dropped somebody or they dropped you. What's this four of pentacles? Why is this here? Something or someone that you were holding on to tightly. Yeah, a rejection with the Four of Cups, okay? 
Moving into the 10 of wands in the recent past Pisces. So this was causing some burdens. There was a lot on your plate. You just needed to lay down that heavy, heavy burden. Why is this 10 of wands? And you did, you completed a cycle. Yeah, the king of cups in reverse, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Could be you, but you could be dealing with a water sign. The king of cups can be anybody, really, right? It's usually a husband. But when it's in reverse, that king of cups is either manipulative or they're just not opening up. They're not offering the emotion. So we have a king and a queen of cups here, same suit. So a divine partnership of some sort. But there were a lot of burdens here with this king of cups in reverse, this energy. Could be you, but I'm feeling that this is the other person, all right? Then we move in presently. Now we've got the Queen of Swords in reverse. So is this you, Pisces, being really pissed and scorned, cutting shit out? Why is this Queen of Swords here in reverse for Pisces? The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. we got a lot of people showing up here, Pisces. Yeah, some of it's your energy, but some of it isn't. All right, feeling pretty pissed off. Maybe there's an Earth sign involved. The Queen of Coins could be a mother, could be a sister, right? Something like that, but we got two queens here. They're both in reverse. I feel like the energy is more you not being happy about something. This is the present energy. Queen of coins in reverse is very selfish energy, or they're just focused on themselves. I feel like this is another energy. Give me one more card on the queen of coins in reverse. Yeah, the tower, sign of Scorpio presently on top of this queen of pentacles so a boom a big ass shake up could have happened suddenly you know something's coming ripping down okay it's a breakup or divorce and ending but also it could have been something that really rocked your world some very um disturbing news an epiphany something like that and then we got the seven of swords in reverse why is the seven of swords here presently right in the middle of the reading in reverse why is this here for pisces the Six of Swords, okay? So because something's being discovered here presently, somebody's moving on to the Six of Swords or moving away from it, all right? Yeah, the person could feel guilty, but uh, moving on, Six of Swords. You might be at a distance. I'm not really feeling it. I feel like this is Pisces calling themselves an Uber boat, if that exists. Ain't nobody got time for that is the Six of Swords, all right? To thine own ass be true and that's what pisces is doing all right because of this knight of wands energy leo sag aries what's this knight of wands about presently moving out of the present energy yeah the three of swords somebody else was involved leaving knight of wands getting the hell out of dodge all right quickly or presently you guys are dealing with somebody that just kind of was playing around all right with that three of swords and the knight of wands now, moving into the near future, we've got the Queen of Wands. So why will Pisces singles experience this Queen of Wands moving into the near future? What is it? Death in reverse, sign of Scorpio. Death in reverse is a lack of change. It's still clinging on to the past. So be careful of that. Death in reverse can be somebody's returning or if there's just a lack of a transformation. I feel like Pisces, this is still your energy getting the mojo back and just not allowing a transfer, like knowing that there's no transformation within the relationship or the person that you were dealing with. So it's like picking yourself up and getting out there again is what I feel because there's a lack of change. Death in reverse doesn't always have to mean you're clinging to the past. It's also the energy of, well, there's no transformation. There's no taking this relationship to the next level. Why is uh, death in reverse? Sign of Scorpio. The Queen of Swords again in reverse, okay? Again, the Queen of Swords, the King of Swords, and they come out in reverse can be indicative of an ex-partner, okay? Uh, because of another person, there's a lack of a transformation here, or you guys are just too pissed to deal with this person, and you're getting your own confidence, and you're taking action, all right? We move into the Moon in reverse. That's you guys, Pisces. Why is this Moon in reverse? What is it? The Eight of Cups in reverse, Somebody may, you may find out that somebody's returned to somebody. I don't feel like this is somebody returning to you or you returning to somebody in the near future. If anything, with that moon in reverse, I feel like you guys find out maybe somebody went back to somebody. All right. Why the eight of cups in reverse? Why is this here? Eight of cups in reverse. What is it? Yeah. The ace of coins. And they're experiencing a new beginning here. 
Now, for some of you, this death in reverse could be somebody coming back from the past, what you'll experience, because you're the queen of wands. The queen of wands is shining bright. People want her very attractive. A lot of passion. And with death in reverse, er, somebody comes back from the past. But with the queen of swords in reverse, I don't think you will take them. I don't. The moon in reverse again into the near future could be somebody revealing something, opening up, trying to return and get a new beginning. In fact, I think for the majority of you, that's what's going to happen. But I don't think you're going to take them back. <clears throat> the ace of coins is let's start again. Let's plant the seed. It's almost like starting from scratch. It's an ace. For some of you, you will find out that this person went back to somebody else and is having a new beginning. But mm, I feel like this is... The way that I'm feeling it all of a sudden and the way I'm reading these cards, somebody may want to try to get this new beginning with you. Yeah, see the Six of Cups. It's going to be different for all of you. It is. It is. It is. It's hard to tell because you're definitely moving away from somebody here that was caught being sneaky. There's third party energy here in the present there are cheating or sadness. I feel like what happens... Pisces for most of you is you you get your confidence back in the near future you're you've become very attractive somebody still has passion and action wants to take action but I don't think you guys are going to be feeling it what will happen is this person will want to open up or something will be revealed here they want to return ace of coins start again there's like value tied to it with the six of cups somebody from your past Y'all will know how this resonates, all right? If you know that you weren't dealing with somebody that went back to somebody else, then this is their energy coming in for you. But I don't think you're having it. What's the Six of Cups here about? The Hermit. Could be a Virgo. See, as I said, I don't think you're having it. There's withdrawal and isolation tied to this return. Somebody you're dealing with either went back to somebody else and you're just going to completely, you're pissed, and you're just going to completely isolate and withdraw from this person. Or even if somebody comes back for you, you're not having it. You're going within. You may think about it for a moment with that hermit energy, but I don't think so. You end with the wheel of fortune, destiny, karma, big, big changes moving in your favor. You know, it's like the universe is like, all right, Pisces, I got your back. Things going in your favor. Why is this wheel of fortune and the outcome for Pisces? Temperance in reverse. See, again, this is a, a Sagittarius energy, but this is a lack of coming together, a lack of cooperation or reconciliation. And that's what the energy that the universe is going to push you into here. Temperance in reverse is emotions are just not balanced enough. But it's the right thing, basically, is how you'll end. Not compromising, not allowing a reconciliation here. They want to push you in a different direction. Why is temperance here? Why is temperance here, please, for Pisces singles? See, the lovers in reverse, Gemini energy, a disunion, not coming together. You know, temperance in reverse, and with the lovers in reverse, that's a big fat no for a reconciliation or coming together. And I'm sorry that this is concentrated on the past. I am. Like, a lot of the readings have been about future love, but if the energy's there, it's there. There's nothing I can do. I don't sit here and pick the cards. They come out because this message is for someone. If it's not for you, it's just not your reading, right? It's not. Like, you know, these readings have thousands of views, and it's, it's for somebody, okay? But just know the energy is there for you not to reconcile with this, okay? If you're dealing with somebody and it's revealed that they went back to somebody else, that's for the good. Like with that, the Wheel of Fortune and the Upright is always good. I mean, it's big, big changes. It's like the universe has your back. And there's no reconciling. There's no balancing out these emotions or compromising. With the lovers in reverse, a very, very strong union, probably. The lovers in reverse can also be, um, you know, cheating and that kind of thing. But more so, I'm just getting, universe does not want you to get back with this person. So please listen. Why is the uh, lovers in reverse? The Knight of Wands, see? Leo, Sag, Aries energy. Because this person is not about long-term commitment. They're not. It's the Knight of Wands. That Knight of Wands doesn't like to stay anywhere. Look, and then you're dealing with this Knight of Wands energy. If it's not a Leo, Sag, Aries, it's just the energy of somebody that's just kind of in and out. Universe doesn't want that for you, Pisces. And also with the Knight of Wands, they want you to just get on the horse and ride away. Because that Knight of Wands is moving in a new direction when it comes to love too. Finding new love, getting the hell out of Dodge calling the uber so that's what i have for you guys i love you hard love me hard back and we'll speak soon take care